Benworth PPP updates. My name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, of course, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That is the easiest way to stay tuned with the latest and greatest updates. Also, I will be doing this giveaway at the end of the month, so if you guys want to be entered, that's one of the easiest ways to be entered into the giveaway. As I always say, you guys want to if you guys want to drop your comments below, let me know in the comment section where you guys stand. I know a lot of people have been waiting on Benworth updates, so um, hopefully I can provide some um, encouragement and some positivity your way because it does look like Benworth are doing some updates as we speak. Now, I talked about the PPP extensions on my channel as well, so if you guys want to head over to my channel, you guys will actually see a playlist that says PPP extension. Very, very simple, very, very easy to do. Now let's get right into this. Um, and I hope everybody's having a good morning out there. And um, this is a member from my channel. They began to say, after being a borrower funded since May 25th and woke up to lender funding, is this a good sign or not? Now let me know in the comment section if you guys have been waiting on your um, Benworth updates or anything, you know, just let me know in the comment section where you guys stand. I know a lot of people, like I said, have been waiting on Benworth. Um, and a lot of other institutions and lenders as well. So I will try my best to keep you guys updated as I always do, especially when it comes down to um, all this information, guys. I just want to keep everybody updated and also keep everybody, um, you know, express the positivity. Uh, somebody began to say, when were you rejected? And they began to say twice. Somebody said, good. They finally make an update. So I believe it's a good thing. Um, I'm hoping and that does seem like that is the case they're making these updates to the point where um, if you haven't been or if you've been waiting let's say people have been stuck in borrower funded or just even rejected I've been hearing people who who's actually been rejected and they've actually been um, straight off rejection they've actually been um, either their application is going in the right direction or they got some type of information now um, if you guys don't know I'm trying to get some more information okay if you guys don't know um, that PPP extension has been extended until um, the 31st to the, the I'm sorry yeah 31st of this month so um, 30 day extension if you guys do not know I'm trying to see some more information here I see all of this um, Okay, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and read some more comments. Somebody began to say, um, they finally make an update, so I believe it's a good thing. I'm hoping. Mine says borrower funded for like two weeks. Now on my second, but I don't see any lender name anymore. You may have the same lender as the first draw when you apply. Did you opt in to receive both draws from the same lender as myself did? I have been worth for the first draw and the second shows no lender yet i've signed both promissory notes so if that was the case guys just know just kind of taking a stride because if you guys um got any errors or not even any errors but like say been rejected or don't pretty much know um just know the latest and maybe towards the end of the month you know a lot of people have been waiting for some type of an update, you know what I mean? And they ask me specifically for a date. I can't give you guys a specific date, but I do know by law that they have until the 31st to get everybody funded. So they had they had the 30 day extension. So I would say the latest would be July 31st. I know a lot of people want their money ASAP. Trust me, I know, um, but it is a process, guys. You gotta understand, you got lenders like Benworth, Wombly, they're trying to fund over 200,000 people at a time. So I mean, they have tons of applications in, and um, just know it is a process. You know, just like everything else, it is a process. But that doesn't mean, you know what I mean? That doesn't mean that um, you won't get funded or anything like that. Just know that it is a process, guys. So when it comes down to it, just know that it is a process, and just know that um, a lot of people have been getting funded. So don't be. Don't be too worried out there, too discouraged when it comes to that. Um, when it comes to that service, somebody said, "Is your old account still on your confirmed funding?" Nope, new account uh, verified. Also, let me know as well if you guys had any um, any questions as far as if you guys actually had to confirm anything, whether it was your identity 
whether it was, um, you know, some people said they had to confirm social security numbers and all of that stuff, guys. Be careful when you're getting these emails or text messages stating that you have to confirm something because sometimes, you know what I mean, or for the most part, it may be fake, you know, somebody getting your information. So if you always want to log into your account, log into your, um, you know, whether it's the Benworth, um, try to contact somebody, you know what I mean, do something that will prevent you from sending social security numbers and, you know, that stuff, especially through text message and emails, you know, it's just, it's just very, very tough. I would say um, a lot of the time they will not um, ask you for any of that information, guys. So just be careful when it comes down to that. Um, I know everybody's different, trust me. I know a lot of people, a lot of people don't care about any of that. I totally understand. But um, for your safety and your concern, guys, just make sure, you know, make kind of just make sure that um, all that information is secure, you know, because it is tough, guys. It is tough when, you, when you're dealing with, um, you know, you're waiting on your funds and then you get a message stating, oh, confirm your social security number or confirm this, confirm that. It is very, very tough, guys, because it's, you know, it, you want to do it, you know, but just be careful, like I said, because a lot of people are getting those emails and it is um, fake or text messages and, it, and it's fake, you know, so be careful out there when it comes to that. Somebody said that's good news. Harvest is out of money for lending. I'm not too sure if they're out of money, but I do know um, when it comes to that, um, a lot of those funds have been, um, I don't want to say exhausted, but a lot of those, fun, a lot of those um, funds and, and lenders, they need um, extensions, you know, they, they needed extensions to get funded. So. That's another plus when it comes to um, the dash card. You know, a lot of people is questioning about the dash card. Sometimes that's a good thing just for the fact of you know exactly your money is on its way. You know um, how much your, your funds will be. You know what's going, you know what I mean? You know, okay, nine times out of 10, my money will be there. So at the end of the day, check your um, check your accounts. Make sure your, um, your bank account is all accurate with um, good information. You know, and some some people, to be honest, don't even check. You know, and they just tend to, oh, I'm just gonna wait it out. You know, and that could be a good or bad thing. But if you guys are on it, just make sure that, um, you know, you just want to make sure your business is ran correctly, right? Make sure your business is ran correctly. So let me know in the comment section if you have Benworth or anybody else you that you're running on. As always, my name is Quentin Banks. Stay loyal. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay you. PPP Extended, Wompley, SBA. We're going to talk about Capital Plus, Chime. My name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, of course, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That way you guys are in tune with the latest and greatest information. So let's get right to this. I know we talked about um, the PPP being extended. Exactly what does that mean? It is a little confusing. I'm not going to lie. It is confusing because it's like, well, PPP Extended, really, what does that mean? Does that mean people can apply? For PPP loans or does that mean people that's in the system so we're going to hopefully get some type of clarification it's still up in the air guys in reality as far as what exactly this means because it does seem like you have people who um who have been funded or still waiting to get funded and they're um they're still waiting and that extension helps them and then people are people are also telling me that they find lenders, they have found lenders, I should say, that um, they have found lenders that help them get extended, if that kind of makes sense. So there's lenders that's been extended. So if you find a lender, um, I will say feel free to go ahead and try to apply. Um, I don't know any, any of those lenders, but hopefully um, when we read some more of this, people actually can help. I know this extension. Like I said, it's just confusing, guys. It really is confusing because it makes you think like, okay, is it extending for everybody or is applications extended? What's being extended? So it does look like as of right now, the date is extended to July 30th. You know, we talked about um, that as well as far as the statements. So far, we know July 30th, but does that mean new applicants or does that mean people, people that's already in the system? I do want to let you guys know if you're in the system and got a loan number or any type of um, you know application number or anything, you should be in good standings as far as you should be getting looked at within these 30 days. So within these 30 days, by law, they have to um, 
give you some type of decision. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a good decision, bad decision. That's all on your personal experience and per- your personal information, I should say, and what you put in the system. Everybody is different, you know, from the business size to the amount you're funded. So, I, you know, you really can't. You can really judge, but then you really can't judge because it's like, okay, well, your business is going to be different. This person may get funded for two thousand. This person may get funded for ten thousand, twenty thousand. So it's all different. All documentation is different. What's needed is all different. So my best bet to you guys is just try to remain positive. Let me know in the comment section exactly where you guys stand. Will this extension help you guys? Um, if you guys maybe try to do a Google search and try to find a lender who's accepting PPP loans um, as of right now. But um, if not, uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of this extension, you know, because there should be some some ways if you are in the system. Now, Wobbly began to say, so they extend it to July 30th. Does that mean people that the people who have PPP ended on their second draw, will they be able to now be funded. Now, let me know in the comment section if you've been funded with your first draw or are you still waiting on your first draw? I know there's tons of people who have been waiting on that as well. Uh, Somebody began to say, everyone is saying no. It's for people who've been approved only. I don't know, it is so confusing. And it is confusing. You know, because maybe, I just think it's more, it got more public, you know what I mean? It could have, it should have just been something for the systems. And they should came out with a statement stating, well, if you're in the system, they have 30 days, you know, your lender has 30 days to approve you. But um, it's basically what I'm what I'm thinking of is basically stating that they're running behind and they need 30 more days to get to everybody's application who have already been submitted. Now, I could be wrong because, like I said, some people have stated that they have Googled lenders who are still accepting those PPP loans. So that is the case. Maybe you guys can Google, do a Google search and see exactly what is going on and if there is more lenders. You know, um, somebody else began to say, no, only people who got approved yet because lenders haven't funded slash processed all approved applications yet. You know, that makes more sense. That really makes more sense. As I said, it does make more sense that they're running slow and that's maybe their their way of, of, of not saying that. It's just them saying, well, okay, well, we're going to give these people 30 more days if you're not in the system just to give you guys, or if you're in the system, give you 30, give us 30 more days because we're running behind. You know, I'd rather have them say that than be all this confusing because it definitely is confusing. Um, Somebody began to say, you will probably get a review meeting looked at by SBA, which mean, which could mean funding. And that's their opinion. So that's really, that's a good thing as well. And, And that's just really what it comes down to, like, it's more hopes of you getting funded if you're in the system because now they have 30 more days. You know, some people were ended. Some people's first draw was ended. Second draw was ended based on that um, PPP extension not being in place. But now that it's in place, it does not like they're reopening or got time to visit some of those cases. If you can squeeze your way in there, of course, feel free to do that. Squeeze your way in there and try to get your um, application funded. You know, um, a lot of people were talking about an another extension. You know, I haven't heard anything, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried or if they needed an extra extension. I would not be surprised just based on the fact of, you know, um, they're behind right now. You know, you got you guys got to think they're dealing with hundreds, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of different applications different businesses, different funds and stuff like that. Now, it all should be funded through the government, but um, we all know how the government works, right? The government can be slow and behind on things. You know, we talk, when we talk about stimulus checks, you know, we talked about that. We talked about a lot of different things where, okay, funds could be, for the most part, behind and not, or the government could, could be behind on things and not up the part um, with a lot of things, you know. Um, as I always say, feel free to drop.